Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm the Castle Girl. Today, I'm at Aberdour Castle. Aberdour Castle is a hall and tower house castle. It's situated in the village of Eastern Aberdour, just off the A921, and dominated this stretch of the Firth of Forth in the county of Fife, around 19 miles north of the city of Edinburgh on the west coast of Scotland. Aberdour Castle has claims of being one of the oldest stone castles along with Sween Castle in Scotland. The original Mott and Bailey wooden structure was built by the de Mortimers in the 1100s after St Alan de Mortimer, who was an Anglo-Norman knight, acquired the barony. This was replaced by a high stone keep around 1240. It is not documented what happened to the de Mortimer family, but after the Battle of Bannockburn in 1312, Aberdour Castle and estates were passed to the first Earl of Moray, Sir Robert Randolph, by his uncle, Robert the Bruce. This was in return for being a true kinsman and trusted lieutenant for him. In 1342, the castle and estate was given to Sir William Douglas, the Knight of Liddesdale. Aberdour then remained in the Douglas family, titled the Earls of Morton. Most of the surviving ruins date from the fourth Earl, James Douglas, who had great power in the 1570s. The castle that you can see today spans over 600 years and can be seen in three sections. The original 12th century tower house was built by the de Mortimers and expanded during the late 1400s. A storm in 1919 saw a large part of the tower house collapse and you can see the stone structure lying awkwardly on the grounds below. The 4th Earl of Morton built most of the Central Range during the 1500s, as he wielded the title Regent of Scotland by then. This was damaged during a fire in 1715, when government troops were stationed at the castle during the Jacobite Rising, and is now also in ruins. The most complete section of the castle is the East Range, which was built in the 1600s. It houses a long gallery and you can see a well-preserved painted ceiling in a small room off this. This is the only part of the castle that remains roofed. 
The ornate garden to Aberdour date from the mid 1500s. There's a terrace garden to the south and a walled garden to the east of the castle. The fourth Earl of Morton designed these in the French Renaissance style. In 1981, however, the high retaining walls were rebuilt in the terrace garden and grass was laid. To the south, you can see the preserved 16th century beehive shaped pigeon house known as a ducat. Inside, it houses around 600 boxes for nesting. The Mortons purchased Aberdour House in 1725. This was originally named Cuttle Hill House and dates back to 1672. Aberdour Castle was no longer the main residence for the Earl. And instead, the East Wing was used for other purposes, including a school, army barracks, and also a Masonic lodge throughout the following years. Aberdour Castle and estates were put into care in 1924 and the castle is now a protected scheduled ancient monument. Aberdour Castle is now in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!